Hello again and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of Old Bullet 2 with me, Odd Warden Hazard, as your host. Let's go. I'm going to warn you now, I've actually already done this bit, but guess what? Didn't have my mic on. Didn't fucking do it. So there we go. I had to redo it. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, and um, I was thinking before last time, if you notice, I walked a complete like, retard in this spacesuit. It's obviously been sped up. If you... um. Go and play, I think, either the unmodded, but I can, I'm not certain about the unmodded, but I can definitely tell you the original Xbox version, you fucking have to walk like really, it takes like literally five full minutes to get across here. Anyway, Atom's going to talk to us now. There you go. And then there's a cutscene coming up. So this video will be very short, and then we'll have a couple of cutscene videos, and then and then we'll go back to the gameplay. So this is going to be a very short video, guys. So really, maybe you should look up. I'm just taking a relaxing walk. You're crazy, even for a Jedi. Look, you need to get out of there quick. What little is left of the facility's venting systems have gone active, most likely from the explosions in the mining tunnel. They're venting Paragas fuel deposits into space through the exterior vents, right in your path. My other vents so place close to the exterior scaffolding. That's just it. They're not supposed to be active when the airlock's open, and not without the safety measures kicking in. The vents look like they've been purposely rerouted to vent the gases to the exterior. And only in the last few minutes, it's almost as if... Now what now? I don't believe this. There's a ship coming in, sending a docking code. I have a bad feeling about it. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye! Again, this is going to be a fairly short bit because I think there's more cutscene coming up. <sighs> Delicious iron brew. This motherfucker in front of us looks like he could do with some iron brew to chill out. Because I'm pretty certain that he is not a survivor of the ship. Pretty certain he's the reason why there are no survivors on the ship. Ah, oh, he just looks. He is such a cool looking Sith Lord. They need this kind of stuff in the movies. I hope Disney pulls the finger out and makes some fucking decent bad guys rather than just a whiny fucking teenager. <laughs> 